How you guys doing? Thanks for joining me. This is the adventures of Mark Twain, and what you're going to see here is that they're rubbing something in your face. I've been telling you, when you die, you need to avoid the light. That's a trick. You're going to end up at the moon, and you're going to have your memories erased, and you're going to be placed back into another womb to live out another lifetime here in the free energy matrix. You're a star at your heart, and you've been trapped in your body, which your 50 trillion cells, your kundalini, which is you have a star at your heart, and now it's forced to take a shit, get horny, get hungry, a pain in your heart, a frog in your throat, a headache, your scalp tightens up. You've been trapped in your body, and once you're free from your body, you need to head for the darkness, for the void, and you need to quiet your head and, and project from your heart, and they're going to show you this. Take a look. Shh, be quiet. Shh. Now see, he's not entering the light. Heaven is not where the light is, people. You need to enter the void and understand something. You're a powerful creator. As powerful as any other out there. And when you enter the void, you can create from a thought. And your thoughts need to be coming from your heart. Otherwise, whatever you think is going to immediately come into existence. And you're going to end up creating a hell for yourself out of fear. So you get fear, which uh, would be coming from your head, and love would be coming from your heart. And you need to shh, quiet down, because whatever you think is going to immediately come into existence in the void. So they're telling him, you see that? Shh. So let's be very clear with you. When you die, you're going to want to head for the void, and shh, because whatever you think or feel is going to immediately cause something to come into existence and you need to make sure that you create from your heart you're going to need to quiet those thoughts in your head and you need to go within so when you get to the void you need to go within to your heart and start creating from your heart because you will create a hell for yourself if you're not careful so now you're in this machine right now on the free energy matrix and things don't immediately come into existence. If you want a sandwich, you need to, the, this is, the world you're in is powered by intent. If you intend to make a sandwich, you're going to go get yourself some bread and whatever toppings you want on your sandwich. And you would be able to create a sandwich then. And that would take some time. If you don't have bread, you're going to need to go to the store. It's going to, you see what I'm saying? This is not the case when you head into the void. If you want a sandwich and you think a sandwich, a sandwich is going to appear. If you think of something scary, it's going to appear instantly. And you could find yourself in a world of hurt really quick. So when I say you need to go within to your heart and find your own light, I'm serious here. If you don't, you're going to end up creating a hell for yourself. So let's say you're not ready for the void. Then you could find your way back to the sun. You're a fractal of the sun. The earth is a fractal of the sun. Now, you were fashioned from clay. And you're going to see this right over here. We're going to show you Tom Sawyer again. The adventures, I'm sorry, the adventures of Mark Twain, and this is Satan's world that you're trapped in. Take a look. Who are you? An angel. What's your name? Satan. Uh oh. What's the matter? Nothing. Only it's sure a sorry name for an angel. Please come in. So you were lured into the soul lure system. The fake construct, the soul lure. You were lured in. Your soul was lured into a cage, into a box. You're on a flat earth, excuse me, a flat earth plane. The rubbing in your face. Satan created you to do work. He brought you in here to do work. He can create more of you when he needs you to do work. How did you learn to do that? I didn't learn it at all. It comes naturally to me, like other curious things. Are you hungry? Sure am. What kind of fruit do you like the most? Oranges! Apples! Grapes! <laughs> now your children are the forbidden fruit. You know, look up Vampire Therapy, you'll see that the blood of your children reverses aging. Now, 
You say to your kid, you're the apple of my eye. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. You know the teacher's desk is an apple. We're talking about the family tree here. So Adam and Eve would have eaten their first child. <laughs> See the frog over here? They always make sure there's a frog in all your shows, or I'm sorry, a lizard or some reptilian. You have a reptilian core to your brain. It's responsible for fight or flight. You're a slave class reptilian. You're the food class. Now see, he's handing them balls of clay. Humans are fashioned from clay, angels are fashioned from light, and the jinn are fashioned from fire. When you die, you can go back to Mother Earth. You are fashioned from the clay of the earth. You can go back to the earth. You can go to the sun. Now they have you fearing the hell beneath your feet because they don't want you going back to Mother Earth. And they certainly don't want you going back to the sun. You're a fractal of the sun. You only survive by way of the sun through the plants and animals that you eat. Uh, you're, whether you're a vampire, whether you're a sun gazer, or you get your energy from the food that you eat, which was created by the sun. The sun goes to the plants, and uh, when they say, like, uh, Jesus turned water into wine, that's the sun. Rain falls down on the, gra on the plants, and then the grapes grow, and you can make your wine from grapes. It's the sun that did it. You get all your energy from the sun. You've been fashioned from clay. You can go back to the sun if you can make it. But you're going to enter the light, which is going to be a false light, and you're going to end up in the Pac-Man moon with your memory erased, and you're going to be placed back in the, into another embryo in your new mother. And I know this is hard to grasp, but they rub this stuff in your face. People think in the beginning of DreamWorks, they show you the man fishing for souls from the moon, and you played Pac-Man where you chase down your own soul in the Pac-Man moon. They're showing you here the clay and everything. And look, everything's in plain sight, people. The truth is hiding in plain sight. Look, they're moving. Interesting. Even though you are a worthless, greedy lot. A worthless, greedy lot. That's what you are. You need to worship each other. Time and money needs to go. You have... Gold fever virus, you let people die over this worthless paper backed by your own stupidity. Everybody's so greedy, nobody knows how to share. I mean, it's just crazy. I know that it's hard to grasp these things, and you're going to need to understand something that uh, you were told, or you should have been told, I guess, and your church would have told you this story, that God told Satan to worship man above God himself, and Satan refused, and he was cast down to earth. Now, here you are in your carbon 666 flesh pack. You refuse to worship your fellow man, and you're going to stay here until you learn how to worship each other and create a heaven here on earth. The solution to all problems is everybody starts worshiping each other, and we get rid of time and money. Because the time cube, you're a cube to cube to cube all day. It doesn't matter what cube you're on. Nobody can rip you or your kids away from your cubes. And all your energy is going.